Hey, welcome back. On this episode, stay fishing. Went out to the upper bay, fished uh, Bodkin Point, a couple of my buddies, Vince and Tom. We got on some striped bass, we got on some perch. I end up making a ceviche at the end of this, so stay tuned. Remember, raw fish, gotta be careful with that, but it turned out delicious. So we caught some fish, we had a great time, we had a great day, great morning, got a lot of good video. Um, talk about the tide, I talk about when the opportune time was for us to fish, when the bite turned on. Just pay attention a little bit, you'll see. Water temps, all that fun stuff. So, if you're watching this video and you like what you're seeing, hit that subscribe button because I'm going to make plenty more of these videos. I have a few of my content, but many more to come. If you like the video, smash that like button. Help me out. And if you have anything you want to add or questions about anything I'm using, gear, my kayak, shout out Vod, leave a comment. I'll get back to you. I love responding to my folks. So, stay tuned. Check out my video. Good morning, everybody. Shane here from Stay Fishing. Shout out to the Vibe Tribe. Out here on the Upper Chesapeake Bay, Bodkin Point. Out here fishing the shoal a little bit, finding some rock piles. Um, nothing but perch so far, a couple catfish. Got my buddies Tom and uh, Vince out here with me. They're just in inshore just a little bit, fishing a different uh, set of structure. I don't know, I'm doing a little exploring, coming out a little bit further, finding a few rock piles. We'll see how it goes. Chesapeake Bay Shorty. Let's uh let's get a measure on him. Oh twenty-one. Eh? It'll keep. inches. Going back. Go for the bigger one. I don't know the camera's on, but I just got a 19-inch striper on a beetle spin. <laughs> In the excitement, I didn't turn any of the cameras on. Let's see if I can repeat. Someone was chasing it. Tiny. Oh, what is this? It's actually turning the boat. <laughs> Whatever it is, fighting. Oh, big perch. Big perch. Hey, big guy. Where have you been all my life? Oh, let's see. Measure on him. 11 inch. Yep, he's going in the cooler. There's one. 
size perch. A little small. He's gonna go back. All right, Chief, calm down. Where's he at? He's at ten inches. A striper? Yep. Light's coming back on. Let's see, it's just after 11 a.m. Tide is just starting to go back out. Water temp is a whopping bathtub water, 85 degrees at the surface. Woo. We're out here fishing a shoal some rock piles and that's where the fish are. We can head up here and see what Tom got himself into. And I race up to see what Tom got into. Nice. Say, hold that bad boy up, let's get a picture. That's blurry as shit. No wonder it's wet. Like blurry like that too. I think something on it. All right. Here's Tom with a skinny little 21 incher. <laughs> Hit it on the drop. Yeah, told ya. The only thing is these beetle spins. The hooks are so. Fragile. He'll open, he'll open them up quick. Uh, he's, luckily, he's a little one, a little rat. I let that one go because I want a bigger one. Yeah. Easy killer. Easy, 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 easy. inch bite has officially turned back on look at this all that water all that water look this right there you gotta come right near him yep that's the joy of kayak fishing He must have thought you were an exhibit at the zoo, Vince. <laughs> Nothing a three ounce sinker won't fix. Watch yourself, Tom.
Oh, Jesus. That might be a catfish. That feels like a catfish. I'm on big hoss. I know it's too good to be true. Just catching those perch. Yeah, catching those perch and some striper. I know Big Ugly was gonna show up. Really? And I got a ladybug. One ladybug. A tick on my foot. Yeah. Opened up the <laughs> this uh this beetle spin. Get the catfish slime off. This beetle spin has <laughs> seen better days. That grub is tore up. That beetle spin, man, like the, the grub on it is shredded. <laughs> Keep an eye on this boat and see how close he comes to me. I had a cigarette boat come past me going around 50, 60 miles an hour and was almost on top of me. He was probably 20 feet away from me. And he's like, and he, you see him like when he saw me, he's like, oh, 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 I'm sorry. And I'm like, dude, I mean, how can you miss me? You're missing all these buoys, crab pots. You're, you know, you're, you're missing them. Somebody you? Yes. No, it's just like it's just like these people that are going in front of me right now. They have all of this open bay, and they're coming right through here, setting this big, big wake, wake, wake up. It's like Jesus, God, man, I really don't get it. So that was it for the rest of the day. We just uh, kind of made our way back to the launch. Nice slow paddle. We caught some nice, nice fish. It was a good day on the water. So we wrapped it up there until next time and we all get together again. Now it's time for ceviche! Alright, so here's going to be the, the meat, if you will, for the ceviche. This is the fish that I caught today. Um, this is the white perch, that is one fillet of the rockfish, and then the, this is shrimp here in the middle. Um, went out on the shrimp boat this morning, you know, caught those before I went fishing on my kayak. Just kidding, got this at the local store. Um, but yeah, I figure that's a, a nice amount of meat that I'm going to be adding to the ceviche. So this is all of the veggie that's going in. I got a couple peppers. Some Roma tomatoes, got some shallots, and lots of citrus. Oh, and don't forget this guy, you know, a little heat. I have another um, pepper in the fridge I'm gonna throw in there also. But all this is gonna get chopped up and added. That gets juiced because you need a lot of citrus, you need a lot of lime juice. So this is the other part that's going into the ceviche. We're gonna start off with our ceviche here. I got a lot of limes. We're gonna need most of this, so I'm gonna start. Squeezing these, getting the juice out. I'm going to use it to marinate both the meat or the fish. Then I'm going to marinate the vegetable. And after everything is said and done, mix it all together. So, juice these. Be right back. 
Alright, you want glass, preferably. Here's our fish, our shrimp. Again, you got my perch, shrimp, and rockfish. Striped bass. Cut into chunks, you know, bite size. Same with the shrimp. It's all going to go in. This glass bowl. I'm going to use some salt, like using a coarse kosher salt. Sorry for any glare. <clears throat> a nice helping of salt in there. What you want, you want this juice to fill and just about cover your meat. Had to run up the store again. Yep, that's right. You heard it. Forgot the cilantro. Had to back to the store. Oh, can't believe I forgot the cilantro. To be continued. Definitely want to put cilantro in with both the fish while you're marinating, or while you are cooking, quote unquote cooking, because you're not actually cooking it, and with your veg when you make your veg bowl. Bring in a nice, healthy amount. I have a spoon. Already see with some of the fish, it's starting to get an opaque coloration to it. It's not actually cooked, but it's delicious, so I don't care. I'm gonna cover this in some uh, saran wrap, throw it in the fridge. So for this, I want to go. I want to go about two hours. Next step. Slice up the shallot because this is going to go in a saltwater bath for about 30 minutes. Um, it tones down the onion a little bit. Shallot, don't ask me, but I did forget. A few garlic cloves. Smash them, put them in with the fish. Smash them, put them in with the veg as they marinate. Slice these up. I like to slice them pretty thin. As thin as you can get them without being a professional chef. And yes, we're crying a little bit. Making this gets me emotional. I just love this dish so much. In a bowl, cool water. Salt, quite a bit. Salt water, not just a little salt. Salt water. Get it mixed up. You can break these apart a little bit while you're in here. That's right, I'm hands on. Don't worry, I washed my hands yesterday. Get good soak, just them off the side. About 30 minutes. Cut up the rest of our veg. I'm gonna do the cilantro. I've been told that white stuff. Orange, yellow, and 
jalapeno peppers. Raw tomato. I take the excuse me. Take the seeds out. So I do the bell pepper, um, orange and yellow. Pretty small dice. The jalapeno, very small dice. The onion, very thin slice, then the tomato, a little bit larger, a little bit larger dice. If I were making this just for me, I would add much more hot pepper, serrano, poblano, maraschino. It's been about a half an hour, so I'm going to drain the water off of this, they go in. So not only did I <coughs> drain it, but I rinsed these because that salt is going to pull out that really strong um, flavor of the onion and it, it's going to be in that water. So they got rinsed a little bit, a bit as well. Rinsed in with the veg. Let's see. Um, I think all I need to do at this point is add the citrus. The salt, I always add more salt. I like salt. So let's get, uh, do some more juicing. You just do this by hand, squeezing them. So much easier. Hey, that's actually good. Still got three left. Wait, I did buy 12. I usually only buy nine. So we have extra. Let's give this a mix. The fish has been in an hour. This will go in an hour. Gives the fish two hours. Gives this one hour. And then you will strain some of this liquid off. You will strain some of the liquid off of the fish. Mix them together. Let it ruminate. Big word, right? Let it ruminate, let all those uh, flavors come together, and you'll have an amazing dish. So we'll get back to this, we're gonna put it in the fridge, and we'll be back later. All right, it's been two hours. I'm gonna break it all out, I'm gonna strain some off, and mix it up. All right, so we got our fish and our veg, grab a spoon, the garlic, go ahead and take that out. I love garlic, but uh, it's not really pickled. Um, it's very strong. So take it out, you come across it. Let's get this strained, get it mixed, get it back in the fridge. So I strained most of the juice off of the meat left most of the juice in the veg, because I want that veg flavor with those herbs and all that deliciousness from the peppers and the onion to get into this meat. I think I'm missing a piece of garlic, so I'm just gonna kinda go with this a little easy. And yep. Pickle chunk. I think that's it for the garlic. You could eat this right now, but <clears throat> Ooh. Get a little piece of garlic. But because this fish and shrimp is not cooked, I want to make sure that it gets enough of the citrus, the citric acid, into it. Disclaimer. This fish is not cooked. Always take caution when eating uncooked fish. I cleaned this fish today. 
There were no sign of parasites at all. Uh, the shrimp was previously frozen, and from what I've been told, that's the best way to guarantee that you will not have any issue with parasites is to freeze everything first. I, I don't like to freeze. I don't like to freeze stuff. I like fresh. So I take the risk. Doesn't mean you have to. Because I can't wait. We'll try a little bit of all of it. Enjoy. Mm. Fish is nice and firm. Sweet. The shrimp. It's a whole new layer of texture. By tomorrow, this is going to be perfect. Some chips. Just eat it. Throw it on top of something as a garnish. For me, I just eat it. Eat it right out of the bowl. But anyway. That's my take on ceviche. It's not traditional by any sense. Um, I'm sure folks will let me know where I went wrong, but this is the way I do it. This is the way I like to do it. If you have any suggestions, maybe for something I can try, add in here, please let me know. So good. Great for the summer. Cool, refreshing, crisp. Anyway, you guys have a great night. Shane signing off from uh, Stay Fishing. Shout out again, Five Tribe. And uh, we'll see you next time. Take care. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, please smash that like button. But most important, stay fishing.